my 30m gf 27f is trying to force marriage repost from slash our relationship backslash underscore advice i really don't know how to put this in writing in a cohesive way but i'm going to try my best me 30m and my ex 27f had been together for a little over a year now. While we had our ups and downs like any other couple, we seemed to be a healthy couple with a future. For the past six months or so, marriage has been a big issue between us. She is adamant that we get married now, and doesn't understand why I am hesitant. While I would love to do that with her, I feel like, one, she's rushing it, and two, her life is not ready for marriage. She comes from a very Christian, and rather sheltered, background. It is expected that she is only to move in with a man after marriage. That's fine, I can understand that. To a certain extent at least, more on this later. Now I came from a very poor background. At this point in my life, I am doing rather well for myself but I had to work my ass off to get to where I am. The last 10 years one of my biggest goals has been buy a house to raise a family in. Would love nothing more than to do exactly that with this girl. But there are some barriers in the way of that right now. Over the pandemic her hours were cut, understandably so. She was lucky just to hold on to the jobs she has, all under the table so technically she doesn't show any income. This is important, so over the course of the last 8 months I've been paying all of my bills, buying both of our groceries, funding all activities for us, and paying part of her rent as well. This is definitely taken a big hit off my savings, but I never held it against her as I viewed her as my teammate. Maybe I am the idiot for that one. Now we both have student loan debt, as well as her credit card debt she carries. In total her debt sits in the ballpark of 20k. She currently makes no payments towards it, she doesn't have any assets in her name, and again, shows no income. In her defense her mom very much raised her to believe that she doesn't have to worry about any of that, because one day a man will marry her and then it will be his problem to fix. Whenever I try to bring these things up, it's pretty much met with a nasty little fight and being shut out. Apparently that is just me being mean. So the fight is basically this, she wants us to get married now so that we can move in together, and we'll figure everything else out later. Now I realize if we were to get married now, our finances would be in an awful place because our debt would almost triple and we would only show my income. So basically we would be years away from ever being able to get a home loan. And that's assuming that we aren't planning on having kids anytime soon which I know would be the next big fight around the corner. My compromise is moving in together now, start paying her debt down, give her time to find a job that actually shows an income, and start saving some money every month so that in a year we could put a down payment on a house, get married, and start our life. I'm already paying part of her bills that she can't afford and supporting the both of us, why continue this if we really want to start a life together? Marriage, at least in my opinion, is more than just getting married. It's planning a life together, laying out everything from both sides of the fence and making the best decisions for the both of us. That idea is completely out of the question for her because it goes against her beliefs. This is where I call bullshit. He likes to do cocaine at parties, don't mention this is covid season and we shouldn't have parties, trust me I know. Sleeps at my house pretty much every day already. Drinks heavily pretty much every day. Only goes to church when either her family is in town or when she is visiting them. Outside of her time with her family, she does not live a life that reflects her beliefs whatsoever. So really, the main reason why she refuses to go with my idea is because she is too afraid of what her family might think. So now where we are is it's either marry her now take on all of her debt, and make our financial future my problem to figure out, or we break up. I've tried to explain how banks measure your debt to income, how they weigh your assets versus liabilities, and how compound interest can work against you when it comes to the debt you carry to no avail. She continues to believe that marrying her now will in no way affect my goals of buying a house for us to start a family in. So at the time of writing, we're broken up. She is supposed to come by later tonight to grab more of her things. I am pretty heartbroken about the whole thing, but at this point I can't really feel all that bad because I have really tried to make this work for the both of us. My question is is there a compromise I'm not seeing? Is there a different approach we can take? I just never want to get married and start a family living out of apartments and rentals. I want to be able to paint a nursery, put a swing in the backyard, 
rip out shitty carpet and put in hardwood, do home projects with my future wife, actually strike out some financial independence in the world. Is this too big of a dream for a youngish couple? Am I asking too much of her? Any feedback, leaning in either direction, would be appreciated. Because at this point I am truly at a loss of what to do. Too long didn't read. GF tried to force all her debt on me through marriage, now we're broken up. Edit, really appreciate the feedback from everyone, tbh I was hoping for some shred of optimism here but if anything it just kind of confirms where my head is already. To clarify some things, she has some really great qualities about her. She's a very sweet girl, she is loving, and we met through very close mutual friends so that adds to the comfort. A lot of these issues slowly reared their head through time rather than being all on display from the start. When it comes to her drinking, and cocaine news, the best way I can describe it is someone who never left the college party. Someone who peaked there and never wanted anything more for themselves. So just decided to keep doing the college party life while she waited for a man to come and marry her. Edit 2, at the end of the day I'm just another asshole on this planet venting about his problems to a bunch of people who probably have a 1000 better things to do than listen to me, let alone care. And the amount of feedback, and well thought out replies. I got to this is truly amazing. You are all wonderful people, and I cannot thank you enough for all the words you have shared. Edit 3, this will be my last edit on this, everyone has been amazing but I just want to clarify something. I posted this as a reply to a comment but I figured I would just post it here. I know this paints her in a bad light, and I'm just being honest about the issue at hand. She really does have good qualities. She's sweet, she's caring, I've never doubted the love we've shared for each other. But as I said in my first edit, it's like she never left college. So yeah the drinking and the drugs, I haven't seen that necessarily as a substance abuse issue as much as I see it as something she needs to grow out of, or better yet grow up in general. The only reason I mentioned it here was because her only excuse for not moving in with me now to get her life and finances in a better place is because that goes against her beliefs but all this other stuff is clearly okay in her world. It just adds context to why I call bullshit on that, and that's just an excuse because she's afraid to be her own woman in her family. She's Christian when it suits her. If you get married to her, it will be the same. She will party, do cocaine, drink and pretend she's a good wife when her parents visit. Did I mention the part where her finances are f up, run? No. And why are you even dating her? You've only known her a year. You already pay most of her bills. He is a heavy drinker and drug user. She has made no effort to pay off her bills yet somehow can afford cocaine. She has made it clear that she expects a man to take care of her. There are so many red flags here. She doesn't want to be a partner, she wants to be a dependent. Who will be carrying her and paying for her forever. And how could you be so unthinking as to consider having children with this irresponsible debt-ridden drug abuser? So you started paying part of her rent, for a separate house, not the one you live in, when the two of you had been dating for less than 6 months. Dude, you are being used. Yes the pandemic sucks, but she's a grown adult and needs to be responsible for her own life. She's looking for a meal ticket. Marrying her, even continuing to date her, is a terrible mistake. Stop, fuck no, stop now. This girl isn't looking for a partner to share her life with, she's looking for someone who she can tie down and make them pay for her whole life. This is not going to end well for you, seriously. You're already paying for all her shit after you've spent the past 10 years working like hell to get where you are now. It's obvious this girl isn't it, just from the post. This isn't someone who you can buy a house with and start a family. Also, cocaine? Heavy drinking every day? Sounds like she does nothing but use you for your money. My, 35 slash F, BF, 41 slash M, said that I am sometimes a burden. Been together almost two years. We have had an issue with the fact that he doesn't want to discuss feelings, like, ever. I need to do this once in a while and have expressed that to him. Yesterday I approached him to go over the things I need in our relationship and he once again, got defensive and annoyed. I wasn't even pointing fingers, attacking him, just wanted to talk about it. I told him that I feel like a burden when he responds that way and he straight out said that yes, 
Sometimes I am burdened and that I need to just stop it with this feeling crap. I think this is the end of us. I am constantly dismissed and not taken seriously. I do love him, but can't be in a relationship that is one-sided. I feel at a loss here and could use some insight. I know we teach people how to treat us and when I tell him straight up what I want and need, this is his reaction. Am I crazy to stick around? Too long didn't read. BF said I am Burton. Edit one backslash need to edit he is a widower and still has all of his late wife's belongings and her urn tucked away in a closet. Edit two backslash I am not allowed to listen to my music when we are together, with the exception of a few songs, because he does not like it. Also, I can never pick what we watch on TV. I'm 50. I've had my share of relationships, and it comes down to one thing, if you have to work that hard, he ain't the one. But if you really want to experience a breakthrough, ask yourself why you chose him and why you're having trouble letting go of someone who is clearly emotionally abusive. I wish someone said this to me in my younger years. Based on your previous post in relationships and just 9 days later you're posting about an entirely different and equally significant compliant I think it's time for you to consider leaving this relationship. Be a jackass. Edit, a word. To rephrase then, you aren't getting what you'd want out of a relationship, whatever that may be, appreciation, compliments, quality time, sex, respect, etc., and when you tell him you'd like to talk about your relationship he dismisses your concerns and tells you that you're a burden. I know we teach people how to treat us. That's true-ish. But that doesn't mean that when someone treats you like crap that you deserve to be treated like crap. I take on him. He's not interested in a relationship. He's fine keeping you around because even breaking up with you is more effort than he wants to put in. Then he adds to the calculus that he's not a great catch, he's in his 40s with a bad attitude, and isn't likely to do any better than you or even find any girlfriend in the future. And you're expected to be grateful that you're with him. Think about the relationship as the third person in the room. What is the relationship doing right now? How does it feel when you have put a lot of energy into nurturing this relationship? Well, his own mother has told me she doesn't know why I put up with the way he treats me considering how accommodating I am and all that I do for him and his kids. If he says you're a burden then it's a one-sided relationship, tell him you need to talk if he refuses it's time to move on he's not worth a future investment. First boyfriend after abusive relationship, found out his ex is successful supermodel, I feel awful about myself, any help too long didn't read, first boyfriend after leaving my abusive relationship, just found out his ex is a model in vogue with millions of followers, I feel awful about myself. Update, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's left a comment, each and everyone has been so helpful. Can read through these when I have a down moment and I will take steps to work on my self-esteem and past trauma. Thank you again. Hello? This may seem really vain but it's something that has consumed me and I just can't seem to let it go. I'm really desperate for some help or advice. I'm 26 female and my boyfriend is 29 male. I was in an emotionally and physically abusive relationship for two years that I eventually got out of and went to the police for. It was traumatizing and left me quite bruised afterwards as I lost any confidence I had before I met my ex. That's in the past now and it's been long enough. I've had some time alone, but I've got into a relationship with a new man who I've have met though mutual family friends. He's is amazing, treats me like a princess, I honestly feel so blessed to have him. He tells me I'm bo today I fucked up and makes me laugh every day. We've now been together 5 months. However, it came to light last week that his ex is this model who's modeled in vogue and is bo today I fucked up and for some reason it's broken any confidence in me I thought I had built up since leaving my ex. When I left my ex I had no self esteem and I really tried to feel good again, but stupidly I went on his ex's Instagram and it's floored me. I don't compare to her and it breaks my heart. I've also heard that his ex before that was a past beauty queen too and I just feel awful about myself. 
He was with these girls in long-term relationships too so he must have loved them. I don't think I'm ugly. I am in good shape and have a nice face but I feel like I'm such a downgrade from these bow today I fucked up a successful women. I simply work for the NHS in a 9 to 5 job. I just feel super average and not good enough. His friends and family have also said I'm not his usual type. They were blonde and pale, and I'm very tan with black hair, they have made comments how I'm different. He says he likes that indifferent but it hurts knowing I'm not his usual type. I know I sound ridiculous and there's so many problems in the world, I feel guilty for being so upset. But the best I can describe the feeling it's just heartbreak that I'm not good enough. Any help out there?